Hello scientists. Today we're talking about a new life cycle, which is the life cycle of a plant. I'm going to be showing you how to make this little book that will show each stage of the plant's life cycle. And it's called the story of a plant. So things you are going to need to make this book with me are a single piece of paper. I have colored, but white is fine. You're going to need scissors, a pencil or something else to write with, markers if you feel like you want to add color, and then finally you need a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, you could punch holes in the top and use string, you could use ribbon, anything that you have around the house. Um, and if you have none of those things, you could just take these notes in a notebook. The first thing that we need to do is take the piece of paper and we're going to fold it in half lengthwise. Sorry, I jumped to the gun there. I forgot what I was doing. You're going to fold it in half this way. And then we're going to fold it in half again. And then one more time. So that when we open this piece of paper up, there are eight total boxes. Now on every single crease, we are going to cut the entire thing out. So I'm going to start by cutting the crease all the way up to the top. So I'm cutting the whole page in half. And your cuts don't have to be perfect, obviously. Mine will not be perfect. And then each long strip has four creases for you to cut. So here we go. First one. Second one. And if I'm moving too quickly, always pause. Press play when you're ready to continue with me. Now we have eight separate squares that are about the same size. Your next step is going to be to attach these or put them together. If you do not have staples or string or anything to put it together, you could just leave them as cards that you could flip through. I am going to staple them together and create a book. Now I am going to staple it on the short edge here. You can do it however you want. If you wanted to staple it along the long edge, totally up to you. I like to do one staple in the middle and then do one on either side of that. Like so. Now, again, you can make your book so that it flips up. I'm making mine so that it flips to the side. And the first thing I want to do is get a marker or a pencil and I'm going to title it the story of a plant. And what you might do is use markers or pencil or something and just draw like a little flower here. I'm going to put a yellow dot in the center, although I'm using pink paper so it doesn't quite look like yellow. And then put some petals on. Kind of circle that dot so it comes to life. At this point, this the cover is done. So we're going to open the book up. And on the left side, I'm going to be writing the story of the plant. That's the words. And on the right side, I'm going to be illustrating or drawing pictures. So I'm going to start with words. Let me use dark so that you can see. I'm going to say first a seed is planted in the soil. It needs water. 
water and sunlight. Hopefully you can see that. I think I'm gonna to start to use a darker marker after this. But my first picture is going to be taking place underground. So here's my ground line. Underneath, I'm going to put a seed. It's my seed. You can do some specks to show that it's dirt and soil. And then above it, I'm going to put a sun and maybe a cloud with some rain to show that it needs water and sunlight. My first page is done. I'm going to move on to the second page. The next part of a plant's life cycle or a plant's story is called a big fancy word that I'm actually going to write over here off to the side on my illustration. Germ in a germination. I'll explain this process. Then, oh, I said I was going to use darker marker. Whoops, I'll do it on the next page. During, here's this word again, germ in a shun. The seed grows a little sprout. I'm going to box in the word germination because it's the second stage of the cycle and I'm actually going to backtrack, flip back, and box in the word seed because that's the first stage. And I'm going to write seed over here. So first stage is seed. Second stage is germination. Germination is when a seed grows a sprout. And to germinate, it needs sunlight and water. So what I'm gonna do is put my soil line again. There's the ground. And here's my seed. I'm doing kind of a bean shape. And out of the seed, I'm going to do a little sprout that's aiming down with like a couple little roots. There's my sprout. So germination is the second stage of the plant's life cycle. Next, on your new page, the roots grow deep and a stem pushes its way up through the soil. Let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to box in the word roots and I'm going to box the word stem. My picture is going to be, again, of that bean shape. But this time, instead of just one sprout, it has lots of roots, and you can do roots off the roots and make them spread out. And it's going to have a stem that shoots its way up, pushes, and remember you can do dots for soil. It pushes through the soil so that it's out of the ground now. If we're above the ground, we couldn't have seen any of this happening, but this is where we see something happen. We see the stem come out of the soil. Over to the side, I'm going to write roots plus stem. Okay, let's move on to our next stage. This is where it starts to get pretty. Now, The plant grows leaves to catch sunlight.
it grows a flower to make and catch pollen. Pollen is basically a product that the plant makes and needs from other plants in order to make new seeds. So I'm going to box in leaves. I'm going to box in flower because these are the two parts of this next stage. For my picture, I have my ground line and now I'm going to draw my seed very small because it's kind of turned into something else with all of its roots. You can do all of your lines, lines off of lines. And then its stem, which pushed up through the soil. But now it has leaves that catch the sunlight because it uses sunlight to make food. And it has a flower. The center of the flower creates pollen and needs pollen from other flowers. The petals are usually beautiful and attract bees or butterflies, which we call pollinators, who help with the process. We'll talk about that next. Over here I'm writing leaves and flowers. We're getting there. Next stage, and remember, I know this is a lot of writing, so if you feel like you need to shorten it, do what you need to do. The next stage is, I said so, bees and butterflies. If you can't fit these words, you could always draw a bee and a butterfly. So bees and butterflies help, here's a fancy word, pollinate. I'm going to box it. It's an important word. They pollinate the flower by bringing pollen from other plants to help it make new seeds. That was a lot of writing. If you need to pause, go ahead and pause to get it down. And then over to the side, I'm going to draw this picture close up of a flower. While I'm drawing it, I'm going to tell you that bees and butterflies are pollinators. So what happens is they fly from flower to flower and they're doing their own job. They're getting nectar, they're going to turn it into honey. But as they do their job, it actually helps the flower because the flower needs pollen from other plants in order to create new seeds. And um, pollen sticks to bees and butterflies when they go from flower to flower. And so every time a bee lands on, here's his little wings, Every time he lands on another flower, he's transferring pollen and he's picking up this plant's pollen and he's gonna move from plant to plant and it helps the flowers get what they need to make seeds. Our next stage, oh, I didn't write pollination over here. Pollination. The next stage is the plant now has what it needs to make new seeds. Wind helps to spread them. One example, and that's not the example we're going to draw, are those dandelion seeds that they form. You know the puffy ones that are like 
white and they pop up on the lawn. Those seeds have little parachutes on them, the fluffy things that help them fly away. Um, not all plants have something that fancy. I'm going to draw a flower that now has seeds. And I'm going to draw seeds floating away. And I'm going to draw some wind lines here to show that the seeds are now being planted in new soil. I'm going to box in new seeds. And over here I can write new seeds. The final stage of a plant's life cycle is the end of the plant's life cycle. The plant, the plant's life is over, but because it made new seeds, the cycle goes on. We've talked about how cycles, life cycles go on and on and on because every time something has new seeds, new eggs, new babies, that makes more of that species and the cycle just continues. So this is the plant dying, kind of sad, but also kind of happy because it lived, it had seeds, it made more so that we won't run out of this kind of plant, whatever it might be. So I'm drawing like an upside down flower. It's kind of drooping. I'm gonna draw its leaves all withered and maybe like a petal falling off. And I'm going to say plant dies. You have done an awesome job sticking with me making this taking notes if you were just listening that's fine too but now you have the information about the story of a plant you can use it to tell me to tell someone else you can use your notes to talk to other people about what you know nice job